Hey guys, and welcome to a tour of some very cute towns along a road called 30A in Florida, located between Panama City Beach and Destin along the Gulf Coast. We're gonna start on the side by Panama City Beach in a city called Inlet Beach and go all the way to Grayton Beach. I love these towns and there's so much to see. I'm really excited to show you, so let's go check it out. And we're gonna start in Inlet Beach at Shades Bar and Grill. And this is unique because this is where the Tempucci Trail starts. It is 18.6 miles of biking and walking trails all the way along 30A. What's exciting is they're expanding this across Highway 98. They're building a tunnel so you'll have more access to shops and restaurants. Next up is Rosemary Beach and it's just down the road from Inlet Beach. You can actually see the Inlet Beach water tower. If you're looking at it from the beach side, it is lovely. This little town is so adorable. The entrance to the town is covered with this little tree tunnel and it's just so cute and European. It's got this great vibe. Let's check out Rosemary Beach. Rosemary Beach is separated by 30A, so you have the northern side and the southern side. We're actually going to start on the southern side of 30A, so let's go check it out. And I love Rosemary Beach. They have this beautiful downtown area and they have these old looking buildings for the city hall and for the post office. It feels like you're in a European town and I just love it. I love strolling down here. Some of these fun little spots like Cowgirl Kitchen and Pliables. This one is super cute. In this small little town, there are four coffee shops. This is one of them down here by the green area. And there are more, <laughs> so you will not run out of coffee in this small little town of Rosemary Beach. And here's the green space. It's lovely, they do have festivals and events here, which is great. And it does lead up to the beach. And of course, that is amazing but you can only get access to that white sand if you're a resident or a guest because you need a code to get through that gate but it is lovely from the other side of the green you see the pearl hotel and they do have rooftop dining which is super popular and i'm sure it's a great view up there but such a cute little hotel all right, and going back up the hill, you're gonna find Sugar Shack, which is a candy store. And of course, a lot of different boutiques, my favorite here. And they do actually sell local soaps here. And they have their own products as well. So pretty neat little shop. And here's another coffee shop. We need our coffee, which is great. And right across the street is Pescado, which has rooftop dining. And next we're gonna head across the street. So we're gonna go across 30A. First thing you'll see is this lawn area. And this is where they do their seasonal farmer's market. It's actually adorable. A lot of different shops. And here's another coffee shop, Charlie's Donuts. They also have donuts. There's also ice cream. And they do have a bike rental shop. And a bookshop, a very cute bookshop. And on the north side, here is the last coffee shop. It's very cute. There's a lot of seats. And there's also a restaurant over here. Rosemary Beach is actually very, very close to the next town called Seacrest. And it's about a four minute walk down the sidewalk to this little area. They have shops and restaurants and bike rentals. And Seacrest Beach is very unique because the area is actually kind of split into two different places. One by Rosemary Beach, which is what we're going to check out next. And the other, which is after Alice Beach, it's called Seacrest as well, which is mainly housing. This middle area here is called Peddler's Pavilion. And surrounding this little area, there's some shops and restaurants. There are these cute little huts. There's a couple bars and of course, renting bicycles and some food and gift shops too.
In the larger area, they do have a restaurant. They have Lola's and Starbucks and a crepes restaurant. And they do have souvenir shops and things you can buy for the beach. This one is actually huge. It takes up the entire side of this one building. In Laco, which is Latin Coastal Cuisine, and they do have the best margaritas. If you're a guest or a resident, there is a pool right behind the shops area, which looks really nice. Continuing on, there are some candy shops, ice cream and pizza, some cupcakes and a bakery, which is great. And of course, some additional stores. I do like that they have this grocery area. If you're staying here, it's really nice to know there's a small shop where you can get your necessity grocery items. And there's Beach and Brew, which is a little brewery, which is awesome. All right, next is Alice Beach, and this is just a very short distance beyond Seacrest. It is lovely. This entrance is just super charming and cute. The first thing you're gonna see is George's, which is a very popular restaurant. There's also this green space where they have different events and Fonville Press, which is a market. Also another little spot you can get grocery items. Alice Beach does have some places you can shop for boutique items. And they do have a coffee shop and a cafe down this street here is Holiday Cafe. And facing 30A, you're gonna find Raw and Juicy, which has yummy treats and fresh squeezed juice. And off the beaten path in Alice Beach, I love exploring. You're gonna find some beautiful little things back in this little town. So enjoy some of the nature and some of the trails that they have in this little spot. It's just gorgeous. All right, leaving Alice Beach, we are headed to Water Sound. A good portion of Water Sound is just rentals and homes and private areas with gates, but this is the main area here. It is called the Big Chill. And this is a food hall, so there's a lot of places to eat. They do have live music here and they play games outside on the lawn. They also do have a large screen TV that they play all the sports games or movies and they just have a lot of fun here. So I really love this area. It's probably one of my very favorites to come and visit. Let's go check it out. Just beyond the Big Chill, there are some more shops. There's a coffee shop. Of course, there's a lot of different things to check out and some really fun things. Just down the road from Water Sound, Big Chill, we're gonna check out Walton Dunes Beach Access, which is a public beach, Florida Fish House, and Beachy Bean Coffee. And Walton Dunes Beach Access is a public beach. There's parking down the street from the actual beach, so you do have to walk your things up the hill from the parking lot, which is okay unless it's 110 degrees. It might not be as pleasant, 
There's also bike parking, so maybe just bike or walk to the beach, and you can do that as well. But it's just a public beach. There's no amenities here. It literally is just sand and water and sky, so you'll have a nice, quiet place to relax and enjoy the weather. Next up is the old Florida fish house, and I just think that this patio area is just beautiful. It's right by the water, and they do hold weddings, and of course, it's just a great little spot. Next door is the Beachy Bean Coffee House, which has a cute little backyard. And next up is Seaside, which was made famous for a movie they filmed here called The Truman Show, which is fun. And my favorite is Airstream Row, which is a street full of Airstream food trucks. And across the street, there's more places to eat and of course shops and a great view of the Gulf. And while you're here, you gotta try Bud and Alley's because it's amazing and it has rooftop dining with that great view. All right, back on the other side, there are a lot of different shops over here and of course some restaurants and some unique little things to find. I will say the parking can be a challenge during the very, very busy times. It's behind those buildings and there's a public parking you can't park on the streets here because those are all private and you must have a permit. You have to be renting here or a resident. Overall, it's a really cute town and I'm just glad that they have a variety of different things for everybody. So definitely check it out. Next up is watercolor and this town is very pretty, painted in pastel colors. Here's the wine bar and we're gonna walk down the street to the scratch kitchen and also a candy shop. Across the street is the Beach Happy Cafe and some more shopping and you also find some bike trails through town. This town has some really pretty parks and outdoor areas. They also have a lake house where you can rent outdoor activities and uh, there's the bike path across the lake, which is really neat. Next up, we're headed to Grayton Beach State Park, and this is so beautiful. Here's the campground, really nice campsites right by the lake. You do need to keep in mind the wildlife, so be safe out there, but it's just very pretty. They also do have a beach, and I actually like it because there's a large parking lot and bathrooms, and it's uh, really nice because a lot of the beaches, the beach accesses along 30A are really not meant for visitors. There's not a lot of public parking, 
so it's really difficult to have a nice beach day or you're walking a little ways so I like this this is pretty convenient if you're gonna have a beach day along 30A or you're visiting 30A and you'd like to pop in at a beach this is probably your best bet Next up, we're gonna visit Greeton Beach. And this is one of the main areas. There are some shops, of course, some restaurants. This is one of the coffee shops. This is Badass Coffee, and it is pretty good. They also have a very popular restaurant, Cracklings. A lot of people talk about that. And you'll often hear live music right here. There's a guitar player or something in the street, and uh, it's just kind of a cute little spot. And I do wanna show you this other area in Grayton Beach. It's so cute. It's called Mystic Port in its shops and there's a bar, there's a bread company and bakery and it's just adorable. So let's check it out. In this little shopping area, there's also the Hurricane Oyster Bar, and it's really very popular. They have dollar bills on the ceiling and on the walls. <laughs> it looks great, um, and people talk good things about it, so definitely check it out. And right across the street is a free tram to the beach with parking. All right, you guys, this will end my little tour of 30A. There's so much to see, and I couldn't even scratch the surface, honestly. There are a couple of towns even beyond Grayton Beach that I didn't get to in this video, but you can check them out on my channel and my other tours. I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you soon.